Ooh, that's an offer you can't turn down. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, and welcome to Hawaiian Shirt Papa Tour of Crossroad Antiques, Part 2. Here we've got one of their little cards, and then we move in. We're at the far end on the west side at this point, looking at uh, some of the items that are over there. This one may have not been uh, given a, uh, a still picture in the Part 1, so I provided it there. An interesting piece of ephemera, the antique atlas, which is referring to previous, the locations of antique shops in the 1990s. Um, I think we actually have had one of these. Uh, it makes uh, various electronic voices for the stormtroopers from Star Wars. Had to take a picture of this one. It was humorous enough for that. Uh, Westwood Avenue has a few of these she's uh, gathered up uh, in the last little while. I don't think this is a real advertisement, but it's humorous enough as it is. Sure, sober up. And they had other signs in uh, numerous different uh, booths around the, this, this uh, antique mall. And here we are, we're getting into some of the, some of the booths. Uh, quite a collection of a variation of all sorts of things here. From lamps to CDs to uh, signage to just bottles. Sports, toys, uniforms, all kinds of items that they've got here. Now you can see the length of the uh, cross piece from west to east. This one's got the toys still in boxes and some of the Hot Wheels that are still in there card blister packs so we've got lots of things to see in here including Elvis LPs were in there some more of the toys various books some of the more precious items in the glass cases including knives. I don't know if you'd want to leave them open to the populace as it is anyway. Some older tools, ceramics, bottles, some artwork. There was another view of the Elvis. Uh, old flags also. Some more toys. There was a whole grouping of these uh, toy vendors. Some furniture. Books. Quite a few places that had books. There's the atlas at the bottom of that one. 
interesting sculptures and lamps of various vintages. That was a room divider using dog images. A baby rocker. Now, I don't know how old it could be when it's got a wafer board on the bottom. Uh, personally, I wouldn't want to use it for an actual child with that material in there. Um, it's very likely that the bottom was replaced if it is an ancient one. And somebody just chose something inexpensive to do it with. If you're using it for dolls, it'd be fine. It wouldn't, it won't harm them. And the issue with the wafer board is the adhesives. Lots of different things, even a uh, an old balsa airplane. They had larger ones in the past, and they do more currently the current ones are actually more usually made out of foam oh yes the wind-up telephone and the record player crank with mechanical sound no amplifier except for using the acoustics of the materials it's made from. They get very loud. You varied the volume by opening and closing the doors at the bottom. As you can see, there's uh, a variety of different things uh, the various merchants are offering within the mall from nice china sets to ephemera like an old calendar CIBC as we now call it Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce the name hasn't changed they just decided to go to the initials There's plenty to see. And just outside the, well, a couple of uniforms, just outside in the parking lot, there's actually a place to get uh, a bit to eat. I think the uniforms were $25 each. If you need them and they're this is what you need, probably a great price for them. sale. Some collector cards in this case. Some ceramics and Pyrex from the looks of it. Some older advertising items. Some of that's real ephemera, some of it's prints. This one's mostly true ephemera, old calendars, other old objects that you'd find in stores, well, also in people's homes, of course, and some separated pieces of ephemera. I'm hoping that they only saved the parts that hadn't been damaged and most of the rest was uh, a write-off for whatever reason. More LPs. Some toys of all sorts. cast iron hooks 
They may be reproductions, but still made out of the materials I said. Antlers of, from, I suspect, deer. More LPs, some were more featured than others. Glassware of various vintages. A teacup, or closer to a demitasse with saucer there. I think I got that one. It had a made in occupied Japan. Thanks for watching this. I hope you find uh, yourself subscribing and giving us a like, possibly even a dingle of the bell would be appreciated. All right. Thanks folks. Take care. Bye-bye.